and a warm and steamy afternoon across the area that has featured sunshine mixed with clouds and a handful literally of some spotty showers, but there's not much out there right now with regards to rain, but plenty of warm temperatures, 86 in Saxonburg, Carnegie and Burgettstown, Manac is at 87. It's 85 in Connellsville, Greensboro at 86, and you can see Morgantown down to 78 degrees. A rain showers recently rolled through that part of northern West Virginia. Here's time lapse of Commonwealth Charter Academy in seven fields, and you can see uh, right now a partly cloudy sky at worst. It's kind of been back and forth in many areas between clouds and sunshine this afternoon. I think we'll trend toward a mainly clear sky by this evening, and you can see temperatures are going to stay very warm through this evening and even overnight tonight. Our basement in terms of our temperature is only going to be around 70 degrees, and that's going to be a high launching pad certainly for tomorrow. Here's the radar loop. As I mentioned, a handful of some spotty showers, but not much out there right now. You have one back in through parts of eastern Ohio, but that probably will not survive and make its way toward western Pennsylvania. So it looks like at this point moving forward, unless one or two would briefly pop and pulse in the next hour or so. We'll head through the rest of this afternoon and this evening rain free and through the day tomorrow rain free as well. Future cast showing just patchy clouds tonight. A few mixed with sunshine tomorrow, but a partly to mostly sunny sky can be expected with dry conditions from start until finish. And I think most of Wednesday is going to be dry as well with our next best chance at seeing some rain showers, probably not too until around or shortly after sunset on Wednesday. Here's the breakdown tomorrow again, 70 to start the day, noontime, 83, upper 80s for highs in the afternoon. And there could be areas tomorrow that touch 90 degrees at some point for a brief period in the afternoon. Again, the next shower threat won't be until late in the day Wednesday. It may be around 5 o'clock for areas near I-80, but around Pittsburgh, it's probably not going to be until after the sun goes down. So Wednesday itself should be dry, and then Pittsburgh may see some showers Wednesday night. A few around Thursday morning as temperatures are going to return to a more seasonal feel later in the week. High pressure, the dominant weather feature tomorrow. It's close enough that it still has at least fringe influence and the atmosphere is warm enough that it will keep a cap on. And as a result, there's not going to be any instability from daytime heating tomorrow that will lead to any showers. We have to wait for more widespread triggering mechanism to get things stirred up and that will come in the form of this front that doesn't get here again until Wednesday night. Here's the breakdown of Wednesday. We start at 7 a.m partly cloudy sky and we'll move forward to five o'clock in the afternoon. As I mentioned, you can see right around the interstate 80 corridor and points north could be a late day shower there, but it'll wait until after eight o'clock Wednesday evening to reach probably the Pittsburgh area. So the forecast for tonight are low 70 degrees, fair skies, mild and muggy tomorrow, 88 degrees, a partly to mostly sunny sky Wednesday, 86 degrees. Again, I think for much of not all of the day, at least around Pittsburgh, it will be dry with a late day shower chance showing up first to the north and then reaching everyone else Wednesday night. Rain shower chance primarily Thursday morning and then temperatures again return closer to normal through the end of the week and the start of the weekend. Back to you.